Bill Malugin, who is out of L.A. and he is working with Fox, he's he said the city of McAllen, Texas, and that's where our, our affiliate KURV is, that the city of McAllen, Texas, says the federal government has released over 7,000 positive uh, COVID positive migrants into their city since February, including in just the last week alone, just the last week alone, over 1,500 new infected migrants, and that's in a local state of disaster, has been declared in McAllen, Texas. Wow. And that's, well, we know, and we know that's true because you have, uh, well, I mean, I mean, the CDC is counting them. The CDC is acknowledging it. Uh, you have families that are just straight up telling reporters that are there what's been happening. Uh, you have Democrat border city mayors that are saying, oh, my gosh, you've got to stop this. The, the federal government has got to stop this, you know, open, you know, everybody come on in through the border. Because I mean, and that's the that's the thing I you know, we were talking about this yesterday. I no, I don't know anybody who is who is against legal immigration. I don't know anybody who's against it. I know that there are some people out there that say things like, well, you know, we don't want to change the way of America. But please know that America was changed like uh, from the very, very beginning when people were immigrating over Irish and French and German, etc. I mean, I come from a state, my husband's family it was one of the French families that founded, he's French and German. They, he, they were one of the French families that founded some, uh, founded a town that was near, that was in southern Missouri. And he's got German family, like hardcore German family. They have a family crest and everything and all this stuff. And um, you have people that have come over and the United States is constantly, I mean, there isn't, like I said, there is one identity within the United States and that is that of freedom. So I identify with, people who are with w people who want to be free that's who I identify with that's how all I mean conservatives who are conservative because they're about conserving individual liberty which is why they're literally called conservatives because we believe in conserving individual liberty so there are there's no, the pro, the only problem that I have is I come in legally and then also if I got to get tested to get back into my own country that I was born in, you sure as hell got to get tested to come back to come into the United States. Come on. There is not a single person that works on this radio program that gets it to your ears or that gets it to the simulcast to your eyes via the first that would be excluded from taking a test to reenter to the United States to make sure that we were not coronavirus positive if we left the country and came back in. Not a single one of us. Every single one of us would be would be tested. But yet it is something that is not being done in places like McAllen and the RGV. This is, I mean, this is, mm. and I feel so, I, I get the nervousness too of people who um, say that they're worried about what this, like the resources in their areas, because now let's look at the big picture here. What did we just talk about a little earlier? The eviction moratorium, right? What, how, how does the eviction moratorium, how are they applying this? They're using areas that have high transmission rates as the areas where they say that there are moratoriums on eviction, where you have this property rights grab, right? And it's not just for, for people who own homes. If you own your, you know, the brick and mortar for your business that apply, and you have other people that are renting uh, storefronts from you, it applies to you too. And also remember only 12% of that aid, the 25, uh, what is it? $25 billion that was earmarked yeah. for people. Only 12% of it is actually, according to, the Post. according to Washington Post, is actually since what, in the past seven months has actually made it to renters. Yeah, so... We got some issues. So think about this. You have transmit in areas where there are high transmission rates. That's where they're applying this eviction moratorium. And you could consider McAllen having a super high transmission rate right now because of the people that are being released into the area. So do you now see how certain lockdown edicts, mask mandates, eviction moratoriums, things like this are now applying in areas 
that have high transmission rates? Do you now understand the concern that a lot of my listeners out there across the country, we're in hundreds of stations across the country, do you now understand the concern that these people have when you have a federal government that is actively not just allowing people who are testing positive to freely enter, whereas you would not be able to? No quarantine, nothing. And then you are paying to transport them to elsewhere in the country where they need or want to go. And there is no accountability, no monitoring, no management of those infection rates or transmission. But yet the result of that will be used against you and your property and your rights. Now do you see?